Well, I've made it to Rego Fix today, and I have the great privilege to, and so do you, the privilege to speak with Pascal. Uh, one of the busiest people here at Rego Fix, so much responsibility around the world, and it's not every day. We get to gather the insights of such an expert, but we're always grateful when we do. So I believe he's waiting for us just inside this door to my right. So if you'll come with me, I want to invite you inside the headquarters of Rego Fix here in Switzerland. So, as you come into this beautiful area, you see a lot of parts being made by Rego Fix. And one of my favorite pieces is here, this Darth Vader head. For good luck, I gotta give him a kiss, right? So, we're here, we're in Switzerland, and uh, right on time, my buddy Pascal shows up. Hey, this, that's How very, that's very Swiss of you, Pascal. So <laughs> Perfect just timing, time. right? <laughs> just like always, just like always. Um, I've already let the audience know that we're grateful because you're one of the busiest, wisest people that I know. And, and for you to share a little bit of time with us today, I, I want to learn more about the history, uh, the relationship in the US, mm -hmm. uh, your, your market globally. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I've already kissed Darth Vader, so I know we're gonna have a great show today. Mm -hmm. and, and, and you have a beautiful showroom. Do you think we could step in there and, and absolutely, have a discussion? Absolutely, absolutely. Well, it's a pleasure to finally have you here. We are also celebrating our 75th anniversary company was founded in 1950, took you 75 years to finally find your way to Tennyson. <laughs> now you're here, so we're excited and definitely we're going to have a look on that showroom. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I like that you made that joke. And if we're going to make that joke, I think I look great for 75 plus years old <laughs> if it took me that long to get here. Uh, but thank you so much for the invite. You know, the, the world would love to be here. We've, we've done some amazing activities mm -hmm. over the last couple of days from fire festivals and and sledding and and tours around some of the town and I want to get into that in a little bit yeah but just for for them to understand they'd all love to be here they'd all love to be a part of it but not everyone has either the time or the ability so for us to take this information and share it with them mm. from the headquarters that's kind of the point of why we we have these conversations and we mm -hmm. bring in the cameras to showcase isn't it yeah absolutely and it's always a pleasure to have the people here obviously we can show um, the factory can make sure that we get the experience here of our product um, in the showroom. We can go downstairs in our application centers. It's important that we can also show our product uh, um, on the machine, uh, that we can really also show, see that uh, these chips flying around. Uh, so we have a 360 degree experience, uh, um, but we try to give a glimpse of it. Um, and thanks to you, uh, the best entertainer possible, we're gonna bring this message over to our audience. That is the goal. And uh, we are gonna, in time, I promise you, I've been begging Pascal, we're gonna give you a factory <laughs> tour. But there are so many secrets in there because Rigo Fix is that Swiss precision quality that leads the world. And so we do have to be somewhat sacred and understanding and certainly respectful in that. But we're gonna to start today with a little bit of your history. You've already mentioned 75 mm -hmm. years, yep. but there's so much more to that story and mm -hmm. the family business that even to this day is, is wrapped around family. Every employee feels like a member of that family. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, so we are a family owned company. So the ownership is by three brothers who are the second generation of the founder, Fritz Weber, who founded this company in 1950 in Rigoldswil. That's also where the name Regofix is coming from. So we have a long history. Um, most people associate us to the invention of the ER collet. Uh, before there was the E collet, uh, then Fritz uh, invented in 1972 uh, the Regofix collet as we know it today, uh, with the clamping range, uh, with the growth on the top, so that if you turn down that nut, uh, everything is then centering itself. Uh, and that was really uh, where the company completely took off in a way of a specialized tool holding company. Uh, we celebrated it in, uh, in 2022, the 50 year anniversary edition of the ER Colleta. We're very proud, this is one important innovation and throughout these decades then other technologies, other innovations came around. Let's talk a little bit before we slide over to our relationship with the US and the mm -hmm. Swiss tour which definitely has some laughs involved yep. in it. And then we'll talk a little bit about global as well, but you've already mentioned product. And what I know about the Weber family is they've always been invented. The, yep. the first thing that they invented, I believe, with the Regofix logo on it was a connection to a broom handle. Exactly. And, and as I look around the showroom, I see your very first power grip over there. That's number yep. one. Yep. And, and you continue, you're the inventors of the ER collet, but you don't stop there. What I've realized in every conversation I have with you and your team is that you are making as a machinist or as a machine shop, you're making my life easier. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and to remove any doubt or questions I might have in my process from any aspect you can on the tool holding side of things, whether it be vibration mm -hmm. or any kind of analysis, it, that, whole, that whole area mm -hmm. just 
results are there to help us remove doubt. And I yeah. love that about your company. Yeah, 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 it's true. And that's why it's so important that we have also um, uh, guests here from all around the world. Uh, we just had, as you mentioned, the past four days, uh, uh, our colleagues from the United States, uh, they usually bring customers here, distributors, reps. Uh, and for us, it's a great feedback that we get from the market uh, where we have to improve, uh, where they have challenges. You know, the machining challenges are increasing in the market. So it's important for us that we develop solutions uh, to make their machining life easier. That's why that feedback is so important to us. Uh, and as you mentioned, uh, we have been growing always around that spindle. So the spindle is really our core business as we could tell and not just with the tool holding but everything that goes around it that you need to be sure that you can for example uh, do the measurements on the spindle uh, in the terms of the pull force in the alignment uh, you need to clean it you need to make sure that the surrounding um, of the cone the taper of the tool holder as well as the spindle are perfectly cleaned otherwise uh, you will ruin no matter what kind of tool holding system that you're using your run out uh, so these are really the ecosystem that we are creating and uh, we are very happy that we have guests here giving us that feedback uh, and also uh, a little bit an outcome what's going to be tomorrow. When we talk about all of these inventions, these creations, there's one that stands out to me and I think it's probably why we're purposely standing where we are as well with this beautiful green color and different uh, generations or uh, inventions of the idea, right? And this yeah. is this is the power grip. The yeah. power grip is something you and I talk about a lot. Yeah. It's something I've spoken with with your Indian colleagues, with mm -hmm. your Mexican colleagues. Mm -hmm. I believe we'll be speaking with your Brazilian colleagues. Taiwanese, Taiwanese, Taiwanese colleagues, Taiwanese colleagues. Right? yeah. We were yeah. speaking with them also. And it's, it's something that we repeat, but I think it's mm -hmm. noteworthy and worth repeating because it is mm -hmm. the fastest tool change, most precise and accurate mm -hmm. tool change in the world within mm -hmm. seven to 10 seconds. I mean, it flies and to know that I can have repeatability within microns. Mm -hmm. I, I think mm -hmm. it's worth letting people know once again the evolution of the power grip mm -hmm. and I believe if we want to put a teaser out there Pascal you got something coming to Emo as well. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't even know the details of that. No that, I bet you should better know because <laughs> I've asked no. you five times to show me the blurry picture and you won't do it. <laughs> yeah yes yeah, true we have a, a new machine coming up at Emo and yes you're right the power grip system is a very important part um, we have a lot of advantages inside the machine in terms of the accuracy in terms of the clamping force but also outside of the machine how easy it is to operate it's a two a button system, it's extremely quick, it's, a, it's safe, it's fully mechanical, um, it's a hydraulic press, so we give five year warranty, that's, that's industry standards, I mean we're really setting up these standards. Um, you are the biggest fan, I don't need to convince you, you have probably seen more of these green machines throughout the world than I have, um, but yes it is a very very important uh, machine and we are happy that we just found actually number one, we're going to have maybe a look at it, this is the first PGU machine ever sold. So the system is around uh, since 2002. We um, presented it the first time in 2001 at the Emo show. Back then it was a horizontal machine, so it looked completely different. Uh, and then 2002 we started it with, with that blue machine over there, and uh, it was inspired by the Regofix uh, color, the Regofix triangle blue. And we only later changed it to the green color um, to associate it also with a certain marketing image. Uh, and that machine, that number one, um, I'm personally really happy because we have been searching this machine for years. It was a crusade throughout the world uh, and that machine actually has quite an interesting story. It went uh, to Japan, so it was over at the Japan at the, uh, at the, at the early stages. Uh, it moved then over to South Africa um, and it then came eventually back to Germany and we located it in the northern part of Germany, close to Hamburg and uh, just two weeks ago we have been able to bring it here to Regofix. So it's really great for us to close that history, not just that we have the celebration machines of the 20 years manufacturing these machines, but uh, being able to to find number one that, that's that's personally a, a great a great success for regular face yeah it's wonderful to see and we're definitely going to make sure and capture as much of that as we can let's step into relationships now uh, your partners around the world and we'll talk about around the world in just a moment mm -hmm. let's focus on the u.s first mm -hmm. you just opened and invested in a huge new facility yeah uh, 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 more than just a headquarters for your team, but a test lab for others, for people mm -hmm. to come in and work together. Mm -hmm. And I think that's important to understand. We just went on a, what we call on the Swiss tour, over the last few days as well, and I got to have the wonderful opportunity to be a part of that. We, mm -hmm. You were gracious enough, the Rigo Fix family was gracious enough to show us around these towns, to, to take us to dinners, to offer us experiences. And some of these folks, my friends, um, had never left the U.S. Yeah. So to yeah. experience things like the Fire Festival, 
Even someone like I, who have who've been to over 80 countries around the world and experienced so much, had never seen anything like that before. Mm -hmm. The ability to go sledding in the Alps and have that, that team building from mm -hmm. day one to the mm -hmm. last day, mm -hmm. we all felt like we were best friends with each other by the end mm -hmm. of it. And this, this was really amazing. So I know you do this for other parts of your, your relationships around exactly. the world. The Latin yeah. American team yeah. is here also. also yeah. mm -hmm. um, and we'll talk about the broader mm -hmm. picture in just a minute, but mm -hmm. let's focus first on the U.S. market and what the U.S. market means to Rego Fix here in Switzerland. Mm -hmm. It is an extremely important market, uh, and not just from a sales perspective, um, but also from our history. The first subsidiary was in the United States. Um, uh, we have been present there since uh, 1988. Uh, we are located uh, close to Indianapolis in Whitestown, uh, Indiana. We, as you mentioned, then moved in uh, 2017 to a new location, to our first uh, headquarters uh, uh, that we have uh, uh, established in the U.S., uh, where we also have a small application center and others, uh, but we really make a step up uh, uh, last year. We opened up the Center for Machining Excellence. Uh, uh, the CME, as we call it, um, has absolutely no Regofix logo on it. Um, yes, it, don't, it, it belongs to Regofix. It's next to our headquarters in the USA. However, it's a neutral platform. We want to bring in all the technologies. We want to bring in the machine tool builders, the cutting tool manufacturers, the, the coolants, uh, um, the software, everything that the customer is interested in. You know, we just can talk about tool holding, but eventually you want to know about the application. You want to know uh, what is a micron, what is what is a problem with runout, why do I have a abrasion issue, if I have a problem um, with the viscosity of my coolant or with my machine spindle, what are the limits with speed and feet? And we can really replicate that, so we have a, a big auditorium, we have the possibility uh, to bring in customers from uh, throughout the Northern American part, so we bring also customers from Latin America, uh, from Canada, and make sure that we give them the best experience possible. I'm going to try my very best, uh, as we've spent a lot of time together over the last few days, to remember a date that I think is, is kind of fun. It was when our friend Andy Weber, yeah. uh, Andreas Weber, went to IMTS for the first time. And I believe it was around 1988, yeah. 1987, 1988, yeah. around that yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah. And you tell the story of, we went there, we were showing our product, people mm -hmm. knew it was amazing. Uh, but to make a $3 a minute phone call to order everything <laughs> was kind of a big deal. So yeah. you knew immediately that you needed to get into the US. So I think, I think that's a wonderful part of the story. Now let's expand our conversation, Pascal, because you and I, uh, we're very fortunate. We, we do get to see the world firsthand. Mm -hmm. um, if, we're, if we remained in our country and we read news articles or watched the TV, mm -hmm. we would get a, a decent scope yeah. of the world. And yeah. I, think, I think that's okay to recognize for the people who don't have the same privilege we have to see it firsthand, mm -hmm. but we do. Mm -hmm. And I've met you in India. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been with your team in Taiwan. Mm -hmm. I've been with your team in Mexico. We're gonna be together in many other places mm -hmm. around the world. Mm -hmm. And we get that unique perspective to truly see firsthand mm -hmm. something like India, where we know 30,000 people came on a Sunday, mm -hmm. where we see an expansion in an economy that's gone from number 12 in the world to number five in the mm -hmm. world in just a few short years. Mm -hmm. We see a lot of the changes happening, leaving China, moving to Mexico. Mm -hmm. We see the growth in these places firsthand. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about the global market quickly mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. through the Rigo Fix perspective, but maybe even broader than that, if you wish. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we have nine subsidiaries. Uh, so we have um, subsidiaries throughout the world. Uh, in not just emerging markets like, like India or Mexico. We have been set up for years already in some established market. And the strategic reason behind this is what I mentioned before. It's really to get the feedback from this market. Because machining expectations, um, maybe in Mexico, is going to be different than what we have here in Europe. One micron will always be one micron, no matter where in the world. But there is maybe trends that we see, uh, industry trends, uh, machining trends, uh, materials uh, that we're not familiar with. So it's important we get feedbacks uh, from our direct employees, from our subsidiary to make sure we're not missing any kind of a technology and that we know where we have to put our R&D focus. Uh, that's one perspective. Uh, the other is really to make sure that we can provide uh, the best service experience to the customer in terms of the local assistance, in terms of the technical support. Uh, in terms of, um, of, of stock availability. You know, having a product in stock, a commodity product, like an ER collet, uh, you can ship it from Switzerland over to, to Taiwan or over to the United States, uh, or ask somebody to call a 1-800 number, hey, I need to call it. That's not gonna work. We need to be as close as possible to our end users, to our distributors, to our partners, uh, and make sure we give them the best service possible. That's why for us, uh, this boots on the ground is so important. I agree, and as we bring this to a close, I'm gonna do something for the audience that I probably shouldn't do, uh, but I'm gonna 
I'm gonna ask Pascal, and he might <laughs> ask me to delete every single bit of what's coming. Okay. He just might, but we have spent time together, I've already mentioned that, but yeah. you were brave enough to show me the insides not all of it, even though I begged you, but the insides, a lot of the insides of, of Rego Fix, and there were a few things that really stood out to me. Uh, you showed me your shipping department, mm -hmm. the importance of making sure that there was enough stock, mm -hmm. not just in the U.S., which mm -hmm. we focused on because we mm -hmm. were a U.S. team, but around the world. Mm -hmm. That and the and the and your system there, it's it's Swiss precision. I mean, let's call it that. <laughs> um, your R and D center, mm -hmm. always working on something new. You showed mm -hmm. me products that. One of them, I won't say the details, you can if you want, but was very expensive, but really unique because of its weight as well. Mm -hmm. Let's just say there's constant R&D mm -hmm. going on, and we're gonna mm -hmm. get to learn more about that in some other videos as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. um, you replace machines every nine years mm -hmm. because you wanna make sure that your machines are always, always ready to give the results that you need for your own production, but any kind of testing that's required as well mm -hmm. for anyone out there. As I walk around your factory, I notice that there are, and I don't know the exact number of machines, but let's go with 20, 25 machines in one area that six people are running. Mm -hmm. And then another area, a whole bunch of machines that one person, you mm -hmm. have automated the entire mm -hmm. thing because your investment in making sure that you have the highest quality while still offering people a cost-effective solution is very important to you. And we can go into more of these details um, that I don't, I don't want to say something I'm not allowed to say. <laughs> I've, I've signed NDAs at this point, my friends. I can't say it all. But, but, but I wanted to close this out by letting people know that it's not just your words. It's not just a, a publication or someone stopping by the booth and you saying, trust me, this is something I've now seen firsthand. This is something I can say with my heart that I have seen it firsthand. You've invested, mm -hmm. and, and you've invested in everything that makes you that superior global product. Yeah, 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 and that's why it's so important we bring people here. That's why it's uh, this message, uh, you have to see it by yourself, or you have to make sure that you visit our factory. Um, Switzerland is an uh, extremely competitive market, and you need to make sure that you automate your processes to make sure that you uh, can have the best price performance ratio with your product out on the market uh, if you're selling it on the worldwide markets that we are in a competitive environment globally. So we made sure that we automated um, to, a pl to a state that is technically possible. I mean, the maximum that is possible. And we're questioning ourselves every day, where can we automate the process even further, no matter from stock, uh, no matter from manufacturing, um, uh, no matter also from the shifts, we work here at 24 hours, we have three shifts, we were throughout uh, uh, the clock. Uh, so it's important that all the processes are perfectly aligned and smooth and as efficient as possible. And uh, that's really what we want to show when we bring people here, because otherwise, yeah, marketing is, is, is words and letters uh, and maybe movie, but at the end of the day, come here, see it yourself, uh, believe it. Uh, I hope you're gonna be amazed um, and uh, it's always a pleasure to welcome people here and it's not just about the factory tour, it's not just about the products, it is basically about the people because we are working in the same industry, these are not just uh, colleagues, these are friends and uh, I hope I can share that with you in the future as well. Pascal, I appreciate your time. I know that you have, let me congratulate you, uh, continue to expand so we're actually putting a shovel in, well I'm not, you are, maybe putting a shovel in the ground but today. you're a part of it. I am a part of it, uh, yeah. but we have, we have so much to do and so much to see, so my friends, I know you have questions. If you have questions, please reach out at any time to Pascal and Always. his team. We're ready for you. We can answer all of these questions, but for now, the expansion continues here at Rego Fix, and they just invested in another part of their growth uh, here in Switzerland. So let's go head off to that, shall we? Perfect, let's have a look at it then. All right, my friend, thank you. Thank you.